Hi, this is Joanna Stern of Laptop Magazine, and today we're looking at something pretty cool from Microsoft. We're looking at the Dell XT2 here, uh, and what's running on it is a Windows 7 build, and on top of that we've got Microsoft's Touch Pack for Windows 7 running, uh, which we've gotten a sneak peek look at here. And we're going to show you some of the applications it comes with. It comes with six different multi-touch applications that were meant originally for Microsoft's Surface platform, which is a large table, but now they've ported it over to PCs. So we're going to look at it real quick. We're going to show you three of our favorite favorite applications and definitely show you kind of how that multi-touch goodness has finally transported to the PC. The first application we're going to look at is Microsoft Surface Collage, which we've seen on the bigger table and now we're going to look at it here on the smaller screen. But really what you get to do here is take advantage of your photo library and really display your images in different shapes and manipulate them and put them all together. So here we're looking at this nice koala bear and as you can see you can easily just zoom in and zoom out using your two fingers and then you can simply move them or rotate this little guy to the side and then again you can simply just move the different pictures into different areas of the screen. Uh, so you know probably not the most useful application um, if you know you're in terms of productivity, uh, but it is definitely really cool to see how you can manipulate the pictures on the screen and zoom in and zoom out. Definitely a nice way to show off maybe family photos uh, to friends. The second application we definitely think is really cool is a Google Earth type application. It's called Microsoft Surface Globe and as you can see here we're loading it up and you're presented with this globe and so you can simply spin the globe around or zoom in and we're definitely really big fans of the zooming in because we're really impressed with how quickly it renders here so we're going to go to, over to New York where we're located right now and as you can see it's really quickly renders uh, to zooming in to where you want to go so we're still going to New York and we've done this a few times now and always are pretty fascinated with how quickly you can zoom into New York so we're going to go over to Manhattan and again, you see really how quickly it renders here. And we're actually pretty close to Bryant Park, so we're going to take you to Bryant Park. And again, really quickly renders the image in satellite view. Microsoft has also put into the touch pack a few different games. They've got three games built in. Uh, definitely cool. They're definitely multiplayer games, which is another neat feature of multi-touch because you can each have a finger on the screen. But we wanted to demonstrate uh, how that multi-touch really crosses over into Windows 7, and we think Microsoft's Surface Lagoon program really demonstrates that nice. They've given you a really nice platform to show off how multiple finger inputs can register on the screen. So really look at this uh, application here as it's actually a screensaver, um, but you're looking at it as like really you're on top of the water here, and we're going to show you one finger obviously registers, and we're simply dragging the water, our finger over the water, and two fingers definitely registers. So that's pretty cool. And then we've also noticed that a few fingers can register. So you're really getting to see how that multi-touch input works on a operating system that supports multi-touch. So really, it's like you had two fingers in the water here. And again, probably not the most productivity-based uh, software application, but I could definitely waste hours touching the water here. So just give you again a nice look at the touch pack here. Uh, according to Microsoft, they're going to be working with OEMs that are going to be deploying uh, tablet PCs with multi-touch capability, and they'll be preloading these applications. This is Joanna Stern for Laptop Magazine.